Hello everyone, this is Zubair Hassan and you are watching CSS GS lecture series. Today we are going to uh, talk about the concept of rate, uh, a very important topic. Uh, you can uh, see your past papers. We have uh, we have problems regarding rate in in your in your past papers. So we are going to discuss the concept of rate. Uh, what is the difference uh, between uh, a ratio and rate? Then I will discuss uh, uh, some applications of uh, the concept of rate in real life. And then I will refer to your 2019 paper where there was a question regarding the concept of rate. So rate is basically comparison. Comparison of two quantities. Two quantities of different type like speed. Speed is in kilometers per hour or in meters per second. So we have two quantities, kilometer per hour. So kilometer is a different quantity, hour is a different quantity, kilometer is for distance, hour is for time. So this is rate. You are telling rate at which your car is traveling. Then if uh, my typing speed is 100 words per minute, well that is rate of my typing. 100 words, words per minute. So words per minute, I am basically using two different quantity, words, minutes. While in ratio, in ratio, we used same quantities like comparison of height to height. My height as compared to my fellow height. So comparison of height to height, that is ratio. But rate is comparison of two different quantities. Like I have told you, typing speed. Number of words per unit time, that is rate. Moreover, cost, like cost of this marker. One marker costs 10 rupees. So 10 rupees, one marker per 10 rupees. For every one marker, you have to pay 10 rupees. That is rate. Two, two, two different quantities, rupees and marker. We have two different quantities. So in, in this is the concept of rate. And I have differentiated it from the concept of ratio. Now, how we are going to uh, apply the concept of rate in our day-to-day -day problems. Now, one of the topic or area where this is applied is basically speed, speed, time, distance. So starting from speed, time, distance, and then I will move towards some complicated problems. So first of all, let me write the definition of rate. Well, that is comparison of two quantities of different kind. This is rate. Like, for example, typing speed. One important example is rate of flow. When a pipe fills a tank in a particular time, last example that is from 2019 paper that uh, we are using two pipes to fill, uh, fill a tank. Uh, one pipe is faster, the other pipe is slower. So if, uh, if, uh, if both of the pipes fill the tank in five hours, I think this was the problem then uh, find the time taken by the slower pipe. If, if slower pipe is used, how much time it will be taken uh, for the slower pipe to fill the tank. So, so this is the concept of rate. Volume per unit time, volume per unit time, it is again rate. So let us attempt some questions regarding rate. Here comes the example. Amira can type uh, 720 words in 16 minutes. Lexin can type 28 words in 18 minutes and uh, uh, Shirley can type 798 words in 19 minutes. Who is the fastest typist? So Amira can type 728 words in 16 minutes, Lexin 828 words in 18 minutes and Shirley 798 words in 19 minutes. We need to find their rate. So simplify, uh, simplify them in order to express the number of words per minute so for 4 times 16 uh, for 1 times 4 
carried 3 and for 8 time 32. Further simplification will give you 2 2 time 4, 2 90 time 180, 2 1 time 2, 2 45 time 90. So 45 words per minute. That is the rate of typing for Amira. What about this one? Cancel with 2 to 9 time 18 to 4 time 8 to 1 time 2 to 4 time 8. Is further simplification possible? Uh, well, 4, 1, 4 over 9, 9, 4 are 36, uh, carried 5, 4, 9, 6 times 54. So, 46 words per minute. And what about the third one? Okay, 798 over 19. Well, 19 4 times 76. What is left behind? 3 and 8. 19 2 times 38. So, 42 words per minute. So, who is fastest? Who is 45 words per minute? No, 46 words per minute. So, Lexin is the fastest typist among all of these three. So, there is a question then and an important one. This type of question has been part of your paper. 10 chefs. Now, we have three quantities. Uh, in this case, chefs. 10 chefs can prepare a meal for 536 people in 8 hours. So, we have chefs, we have people, we have hours. 10 chefs prepare meal for 536 people in 8 hours. Assuming that the chef cook at the same rate, find the number of people 22 chefs can prepare a meal in 5 hours. So you have to find this one number of people and no chefs are changed then the number is changed and and time is also uh, changed here so the technique is that we have three uh, uh, three different uh, uh, you can say quantities or sorry three different terms chefs time and number of people this one is to be obtained this one is to be uh, calculated so the one which is to be calculated it should be in the last column so, given condition is that 10 chefs can prepare meal for 536 people in 8 hours. Now, if I reduce number of chefs from 10 to 1. Now, when chefs are reduced, then it is obvious that the quantity of meal will be now for less number of people. Chefs are reduced from 10 to 1. So, you know if, if you have less number of chefs, food will be less. And that means less number of people will be served. So, if from 10 to 1 chefs are reduced, then you have to reduce number of people by 10. The same quantity which is reduced from 10 to 1 divided by 10. Now, if I increase a chef from 1 to 22, now by increasing number of chefs, what is basically uh, the concept says if you increase number of chefs, then definitely more food will be prepared. And for more food, if, if more food is prepared, then definitely it will serve more number of people. And if you want to increase the number of people, then you need to multiply this by 22, the same number. This one is as it is. Now, when chefs are increased, no more people will be served. So, multiply it by 22. Now, up till here, again I am repeating, when 10 chefs were there, 536 people were being served and time was 8 hours. When one chef was there, number of chefs reduced. So, number of people to be served by the food, they will also be decreased. So, decrease it by 10. Now, when chefs are increased, when chefs are increased, they will make more food, more people will be served. So, multiply in order to increase number of people. Now, I am going, now first of all, I have changed the chefs. Now, I am going to change the time. Up till here, time was constant. This was constant. I got no 22 chefs. No 22 chefs take 5 hours. So I need to change the time now. First of all, you will change it to 1. 22 chefs prepare 
food for this number of people in 8 hours. Now, if I reduce the time, think if the time is less, if the time is less, then what do you think? Uh, the food will be prepared, um, a, a, a more quantity of food will be prepared or less quantity. If time is less, obviously less food will be prepared. And if less food will be prepared because time is reduced, then less number of people will be served. So when less number of people will be served, this is going to divide over there. This is going to divide over there. Sorry, this one, this number eight, eight this is no change. This is going to divide over there. So you can see here, I have divided it by eight. Again, if time is reduced, if time is reduced, then for less time, for, for, for less time, less food will be prepared. And when less food will be prepared, less number of people will be served. And if you want to reduce number of people, because time is reduced, simply divide this term by 8. Now 22 chef take 1 hour to prepare food for this number of people. Now, if I increase time from 1 hour to 5 hours, let's suppose 5 hours, time is increased. Obviously, when more time is there, more food will be prepared. Chefs are same. So, uh, these 22 chefs will prepare more food in 5 hours as compared to in 1 hour. When more food will be prepared, more people will be served. And when more people will be served, you have to increase number of people. You have to multiply, you know, the time is increased from 1 to 5, so multiply this quantity by 5 in order to increase number of people. So now simplify this one to get your answer. What I have done over here, I have done 5 1 times 5, 5 2 times 10, 2 1 times 2, 2 11 times 22, so I got this one. 5 and 10 cancelled, 2 and 22 cancelled, I got this one. Then 8 and 536 cancelled, I got this one. Then 4 and 268 cancelled, I got this one. Then 2 and 134 cancelled, I got 67 into 11. The answer is 737. 22 chefs will prepare the food in 5 hours and they will serve 737 people. This is how you are going to attempt a question like this where you have 3 quantities, 3 different terms and uh, you have to find the third one. And first of all, uh, the chefs will be uh, changed, time will be constant and then chefs will be constant and time will be changed. And in this way, you can attempt this sort of questions. This is the basic concept of rate. And because we have a lot of questions over here, so I will, I, I might be doing another lecture on the concept of speed now because that is also related to this one. So thank you so very much for watching. Uh, subscribe the channel if you haven't done it so and you can have all the lectures in my playlist. Thank you so much.